August 1st, 1966, Charles Whitman, a student at the University of Texas at Austin, incited panic and chaos on the 40 acres when he opened fire from the 20th floor of the campus's iconic tower. Whitman killed more than a dozen people and injured more than 30 others in the historic massacre before two men shot and killed him. Fast forward to today, 50 years later, a landmark anniversary with a legislative twist. It is certainly an ironic coincidence. A new law passed last year to allow concealed handgun license holders the ability to carry their weapons on public university campuses statewide takes effect Monday on the anniversary, just a few weeks shy of the start of classes. I think the only thing that will mitigate against that becoming a major issue is that it's August 1st as opposed to August 25th and so that the campus will still be fairly empty on August 1st. Um, but we'll see what happens when students come back and classes start. Steve Good, a UT law professor, chaired the Campus Carry Policy Working Group. Over the course of three months last year, the group gathered input on how handguns must be carried and stored, where they're not permitted, and proactive measures the university should take. Several people we talked to at UT were not happy about the new law. I'm not a fan of it, uh, to be honest. Um, I do see where it could come in handy, but I think um, the consequences will be heavier than the benefit. Honestly, like my honest opinion, I'm a little scared um, just because recently there's been so many shooting events and you just, you just never know. I would say as a parent, be very concerned. I think as a student, uh, to know that anybody be carrying firearms uh, would be a little concerning. I like the idea of having a safe, you know, guns-free campus. I think that's great for, you know, the education system and the ability you know, to learn. We ought not be limiting a right on public property that the people of Texas own. For the Republican lawmakers who crafted the legislation, well, uh, it's about yeah. protecting the constitutional right to bear arms on government property. The law allows for universities to carve out limited gun-free zones, such as labs that store hazardous chemicals, child care facilities, and ticketed sporting events. So the odds that anything is going to happen are extremely slight. Odds that it'll be an accidental discharge is probably greater than any of anything else, but who knows? It's just hard to know what's going to happen. Good just hopes the focus on the law simmers after it takes effect, that it becomes a fact of life on campus, as it has in other states with similar campus carry laws on the books. At the University of Texas at Austin, this is Alana Rocha reporting for the Texas Tribune.